got the uh, my first stake I'm going to trim up and there, as you see there's not too much fat around here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it all up right here you know get all, all that gristle all the fat uh, this stake looks pretty good I shoot for the teardrop type too sometimes they come out more of a hockey puck what they call it more rounded um, after I tie I'll just trim off this so the judges get a clean bite of that that spinalis yeah, so just just cleaning it up and then I'll cut this tail off okay. here all right so you are a fan of the uh, tail remove absolutely okay. so give it that nice shape and okay. you know and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll go around with a pair of trimmers and I'll kind of round the edges off so to to round them off and have them not be so what kind of trimmer what so do you mean trim? uh, what do you mean by trimmer more like a Fiskars, like a pair of scissors. Oh, scissors. Or okay, some, got it. Got or, it. Yes. Okay, so you scissor right. round the edges so they are curved. Right? Absolutely. So for more Absolutely. aerodynamic airflow. Absolutely. So <laughs> this is more of the kind of like the teardrop kind of okay. kind of shape. And then, you know, with the, uh, the spinalis kind of right here and then the eye kind of in the center right here. So that's pretty much the shape. And All right. So what I did was I tied it up similar to Christian's there. And I leave it long right here. So your if, tail is where the knot is. So you're the opposite from Chris. Chris had the tail at the spinalis dorsal. You have the tail and the heel, right? Correct. And okay. the reason why I put mine here is because when you put it into the box, you're going to want to face this. The lid is going to open up this direction, kind of, kind of back this way, and your uh, your cap needs to be facing, facing the opening. So what I do, how I tie mine up, is I tie mine on the bottom of the eye. So after it cooks, and if I get confused, I know the spinalis is on top here of the knot, okay. if that makes sense. Yep, makes a lot of sense. And, and, then, uh, and then I take these, these, and I once I get it tied up, and I kind of round the, uh, okay. I round the uh, hard edges. So you are from the aerodynamic camp. Yeah. Versus the. Uh, Just so it's not a hard edge, because <laughs> it's going to puff out yeah. anyway. But you, you get the you get the gist of it here. Folks, you only do this for competition, right? So when you cook at home, uh, please ignore all these, uh, how should I say, extended steps. Right, right. And so my tail is a little long. Okay. I will leave quite a bit, a couple inches, two, two and a half inches, to remind me to cut the strings after I okay. after I, I, I finish. Now it looks like a Christmas ornament, so hang in a tree. So, all right, thanks, Josh. Thank you. All right, well, I'll get started. I just, it's definitely not a necessity. You can use a shaker bottle with a, a metal spring in it to shake up your marinade. Because uh, it's powder and and I'm, I'm choosing today uh, beef consomme But uh, they have this little uh, on Amazon the uh, vortex. It's kind of like a battery operated uh, Blender oh you how cool is that? Inside, I love so that. it mixes it up. I love that man. Uh, all on Amazon So what I do today, I'll be using uh, Wicked pig which is a, a, a lot used on the circuit um, So I'll use my beef consomme and this is, uh, what ten is it? Ounce. 10, ten ounces. Ten ounces. Ten ounces. Okay, so you're a consomme guy too? I buy Campbell stock, yeah, right? Yeah, beef broth, <laughs> beef consomme. Okay. So I'll pour that in first. The whole entire can in the bottle here. And then I will take my Wicked Pig. This also comes with a scoop. You can get this online. And ten ounces to how many scoops? Um, I do one, one scoop, one heaping, one scoop heaping pool. scoop, a wicked pig, and then I do uh, very similar to uh, to Christian. With, along with that, I do add some of your beef. Oh rub, wow! Actually. Okay, so and another plug. Have, okay, I always have done that. All right, I well. did not plan this, guys. Okay, this is he not a setup not. to pro my product. These guys actually win on the competition circuit, and they're using my rub. He's got Worcestershire, citric acid, so shiitake, a, and a whole bunch of other stuff. That's about why. a teaspoon. Teaspoon of that wrap. And then okay, I, put cool. on, I put the uh, lid yeah. on here and uh, yeah. I just uh, let oh, it go. Wow. It'll go through the system and then you'll see it. So cool. I need to get this for my there. shakes in the morning. I need not know somebody made a battery operated shaker. Yeah, so I just I hit the button about two or three times and it's well mixed. And, and uh, it'll take a minute, but I can show you... Uh, when I put it in a bag and how I do it as well. Okay. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to use a little MSG to start it off after I pulled it out of the marinade right now. Just a little drizzle. Yeah. A little drizzle, okay. And then I'm going to uh, go with a, a little... Uh... This is a board night out again. So the yeah. white lining seems to be a very popular... This one's a spicy. Option. Spicy, so it's got a little bit of cayenne, a little bit right. chili, habanero maybe. Yes. 
little heavier on the spinalis. Spinalis, okay, always. So technically, if you did not season the eye, nobody would know. Uh, because they don't taste the eye, right? Right. It's just so if you want to save rub <laughs> strictly for done. Want to save a few dollars? You can. So then uh, I go with uh, DB one eighty. DB one eighty. Okay. The the steak and beef. Steak beef rub. Okay. Has so good, who's DB? Color. I, I don't know DB. Is he a person? Or yeah, a yeah. Brand? He's a he's a person. He's another competitor. Okay. So a little on that, and then I also go. Oh with, wow! Finish I'm, it I'm, off with your beef rub. Okay, this is not planned. Okay, I, I did not. I did not, not ask planned. you to say that, right? You're not under threat absolutely of bodily not. harm. You just use these products because they actually win on the competition. Absolutely. Circuit. And if it's good enough to win first place brisket USA, you definitely can That's use it right. on your tri-tip, on your beef, on your burgers, on your ribeyes, on your great, SCA great, steaks. great seasoning. Yeah. So it's a, it's a good blend of different flavors. You want complexity? You can use that over, say, the traditional S and P. And then I'll let this sit, sit about for how many a few minutes? minutes just to sweat it out. Probably. Okay. 10 minutes? 8 minutes, 10 minutes, okay. and then I'll, I'll flip it over and that's when I'll get the, the um, edges. edges as well. Okay. And then how long so. do you let the rub sit on the meat before you actually sear it? Uh, so it? I probably about an hour and a half or so. Okay. You, you put a thermometer in it to let you come at room temperature like Chris does? I, I will once you will? it sweats okay. down sweats a little down, bit. And you do the other side right. and you let it sit. And you like about 72 degrees? What do you like for the temperature? Uh, it just depends how hot it is. The hotter, uh -huh. I want it a little colder. Colder? I have yeah. it's in the 90s or... Okay. You know, a lot of where we do competition, it gets really hot. So uh, I wanted a little, a little cooler, not, not so much because I got my times down for about, yeah, about 70s, 80 degrees right there. Okay. And then you're warming up your C4 I am, M grill. And, I and how long does it take to warm up usually? Uh, probably about, I give it about a half hour. And try half to hour? Just my uh -huh. dampers and get okay. it around. I, I, I cook around, try to hit 600. 600? Yeah. yeah. So are you like me, 600 for 60 seconds each side, or is that your method? Um, I do about a, a, a minute to a minute and 15 15 each side, per, okay. Well, per, per, per mark. Per mark, and then you, you sear and then you smoke, or you smoke and then you sear? What's your um, preference? No, I, I, don't, I don't reverse sear, I just I sear first mm -hmm. and then I, and then I uh, then let they come to temp, temp, temp on, my, okay. on my riser. On the riser, okay, cool. Yeah. So, okay, we'll, we'll cover that process shortly. Perfect. And then Chris, how do you recap your process in terms of, you smoke or sear or sear or smoke? So, I always sear first. Mm -hmm. Then I smoke. Smoke. All right. Yeah. So so there's two for two. <laughs> okay. Let me interview, Freddie. Hey Freddie, question for you. Do you smoke and sear or sear and smoke? Which one do you do? I do. I do sear and then bring it up slowly. Wow. Three for three. So everybody. Okay, yeah, ladies. What about you? What do you guys want to do? You want to smoke and sear or sear and smoke? I think I don't know. Why don't we do something? We'll do a mix. Oh wow. Okay. I love. I love it the way you think. Like different tests. We got five steaks. Let's find out which is better. Right. Excellent. Start the new timer. Okay. For another minute and 15 seconds. Rock and roll. So just four sides here and then put it aside. Ready to come to temp and ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Pretty and straightforward if, process. If I have to move this on after uh -huh. if my I'll, my steak's about 102 right now. I'll check it again once I flip it uh, with the thermopan. Yep. Okay. And then depending on my temps, I might have to... Transfer, transfer this it. onto here and then put it on the riser. So okay, so to, you get uh, it to one one thirty five ish. Yeah, one thirty five, one thirty four. Just depends on how hot it is. Mm, okay. uh, I go a little lower. The hotter it is outside, I'll go a little lower. Lower. Okay. Uh, the carryover. So great tips. All right, so here I'm doing the trimming now. Usually, my lovely wife Christine, <laughs> also part Hi. of the Tri City Pit Masters, she helps me with the trimming because she's more. She makes things look pretty. All right, and that's what you want presentation appearance. You want it to look as great as you know as it can be So she goes she she goes ahead and still keeps that you know dignity of the steak the oval shape um, okay. Some people I guess uh, end up making it like burger patties the hockey pucks they call it uh -huh. which they look nice, but really leave the round to burgers maybe and steaks make them oval so what she goes ahead uh, now, she just touches little touch-ups with the, uh, what are those, surgical the little scissors? little surgical scissors. So wow. just little loose ends, you'll go ahead yeah. and start trimming. And uh, like like Kristen, Christian touched up, we want to get as much as the, as much of the, of the silver skin off. Because you don't want the judges to get a bite of that, of that, um silver skin or, or, or you know a tough bite you want them to get a clean bite through nothing to chew on just just meat 
Now, what are those two metal <laughs> things sticking up? Look at that cardiac surgery. So these are skewers. Now, since right. this was a steak that was very loose in here, we go ahead and pin it. So you go ahead and pin it so it all stays together. Okay, and you buy these pins on Amazon? You okay. buy the pins on Amazon, and they can be any type of pins. Uh, the better ones, but people tend to forget them in there, are the margarita skewers. Or, or the, not margarita, they're the okay, okay. martini. Martini The cocktail. Okay. So martini skewers. These are the best ones because they're thin. They're thin. They won't leave a big hole in the, in the steak. Uh, but the thing is... You might forget one in there, Ooh. and that's an automatic disqualification. Okay, steak trim done. Good job, guys. All right, so the, these things were the ones that were recommended by pitmaster Chris Guerin from Mad, Mad Cat Barbecue. We went to Walmart. We got some beef broth. We came to Harry's, uh, and we got some Harry Sue's uh, Slap Yo Daddy chicken rub that we're going to be using. We're not going to be using the beef like those guys over oh, there. Oh, wow. Chicken we're on going beef. Chickens. Chicken on beef. We're going chicken this on beef. That's radical. That's totally rogue. Yes. And where can we get these, Harry? These can be on Amazon, on my website, slapyodaddybbq.com. This rub has really been good to me. I beat 7,000 teams the first place USA, KCBS, Team of the Year chicken. So it's got a few special ingredients. Yeah. I can say this is actually a great one. Freddy, Freddy's gonna try it on steak. I don't think people cook my rub on steak, but it's always the first time. I'm always ready to try new things, All discover right, new frontiers. So you're using some uh, beef broth now? Yes, so we're using beef broth opposed to consomme. Okay. So he said 10 ounces to one pack of Lari's. So we're doing 10 ounces And Lari's Campbell. is about one ounce uh, bag of beef marinade? Uh, yes, one one point, one point zero six. So okay. yeah, one, one, one ounce worth. And so pop gonna... it in. So okay. we one, are going to do... One, one tablespoon. One, one teaspoon, he said? He said teaspoon, but for this Let's one... Let's do I, I so would say a tablespoon. Two, would yeah, be it's, half it's the not cap. as salty as the beef, so I would add a little bit more. Maybe one and a half to okay. two teaspoons. So by judging by my eyes, yeah, this that's, would be one and a half. One and a half, that's close enough. Close enough. That and that's yeah. how the best cooks cook, right? We go close, by the close a pinch enough. of this, a pinch of that. Yes. Yes. A bit there of love. Go. go ahead and okay. set the timer. In the bag with the marinade, and six we'll six be minutes. back in about six minutes. So, Freddie's following Chris's recipe using lorries and beef broth. Uh -oh. All right, Freddie's uh -oh. starting out with charcoal. This is a cool device. You go to grillgun.com. My buddy makes these, and uh, super duper convenient. Ready to sear your steaks, even if you do sous vide. It's called a sous vide gun. You can bring a nice char to all your foods. So, as recommended by um, Mad Cat Barbecue, Chris Garen, and White Oak Barbecue, um, Josh, I uh, marinated these for six minutes each side, so 12 minutes total. Now, we're gonna go ahead and do their seasoning blends that they uh, recommended. So they both recommended accent. Now accent brings up brings out the flavor. I take it you can get accent anywhere. It's MSG. So we'll go ahead and sprinkle a light layer on the top. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a light layer. And as you can see, it's instantly absorbed in there. Crazy. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start with White Oaks recommend, recommendation, Josh. Um, they didn't express how they want me to layer it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do whatever I would do. Let's, it's a very coarse rub. Hopefully the rub granules will melt, because you're not gonna Hopefully. have a greedy, greedy yes. uh, aftertaste on the judge's yes. mouth, which I don't think was for you very high points. Okay, All right. so, so we're doing careful. that. Hopefully those are the butter buds that will melt. Yes, hopefully. Okay, so you're using my buddy uh, Malcolm Reed's uh, Killer Hawks, right? Cool. Malcolm Reed. Malcolm Reed, good guy. All right. And now I am I take it we need a generous layer. Um, but that looks good to me. That's going to be one side. Okay. Then we'll flip it over and season the other side. Okay. But let's, uh, let's before we do that, side. let's do this one. Now... Chris Guerin, Mad Cat Barbecue, recommended uh, these rubs. It doesn't matter what, how how you layer it. Let's start with the with the steak blend. And once again, this is a Kinder's uh, 
is a Kinder's, and Kinder's looks like it's very um, coarse. Coarse, yeah. Very coarse. Okay, that's a steak. That's a Rock. steak, that's and we'll the... go. We'll top it with that one. I, I, well, I want to say we'll top it with that. This one is the. This is a wood fired garlic. Okay, whatever that is. <laughs> whatever it is, it's uh, it's already smoked. Smoked, smoked garlic. Okay, now, is it much finer? Yes, yeah, I like finer. this one. Okay. Very light because we have garlic in all of them. I don't want it to be overpowering. Yeah. And then, oh, that one smells good. I got the, whiff got of the, the whiff, whiff of of the smoke. Flavor. Smoke, yes. Okay. And then the we're garlic. doing garlic herb, and it has butter, so that's why I wanted to top right, it with it. Butter. Very fine. Okay, wow. Oh, very fine. I like well, that. Might be a winning combination. You never yeah, know. Yeah, that okay, one. Man. Chris Garen's a winning combination. We'll see. Okay, excellent. Good job. All right. All right. So hasty bake. We want this the grill grates. Between 450 and 550 right now, it's perfect. 542. All right, so I think it's ready for some steaks. And uh, it's already been sprayed down with a little grilling oil. Go ahead and press it down a little bit, and then we'll and go ahead and uh, put your two pound weight on. And how many minutes? So we're gonna go ahead and do a minute and 25. 25 seconds with a uh, with the steak weight on there. And then once this reaches to a minute, we're gonna go ahead and take off the steak weight and leave it on there for the rest of the time. Okay, 25 we wait, one minute without weight. That's your secret yes. formula. See, you guys come to this channel to learn all these pitmaster secrets. So you yeah, we too. don't we don't want to burn the rub on there, so we'll just go ahead and take it off. Okay, one minute. Just move it aside. Okay, so you leave it for a minute. Okay. Uh, spray it down with a little pam, just so it doesn't stick on the other flip, and then. 90 degrees. Yes. Okay, so you do a 90 degree flip on the other side. So we'll go ahead and put it back on there. 25 seconds. Yeah. Wait. And now we start, start it. Start it. And 25 and seconds. Come back in a minute. 25 yep. seconds later, we start. There you go. All right, it's ready. It's going to come off. 10 minutes. Timer on here. Perfectly seared. It's going to now cover it. Let it rest. 135, 138-ish. Depending yes. on the ramp up time. And we're gonna go. just cover it loosely covered, not, not too tight so it doesn't steam. Yeah. And ready to go. Done. All Good right. job. Good job. So mine would be ready to turn in. Absolutely gorgeous. Um we're good. don't forget the skewer, it's an automatic disqualification. Disqualification. And then also don't forget to you have strings on here. You don't wanna forget to cut off the the butcher's tw twine. So and go ahead and scissors. grab those. Yeah. All right, and then we go ahead and uh, lay it in the box. Yes, we're gonna and, uh, use some white. We don't want to. We don't want to dirty up our box. Yeah. Right, so Eddie, go ahead and take your plastic masterpiece. Which masterpiece are you gonna turn in? Okay. So judging by the looks of it, this one has a better. This one has obviously the eye, no separation. You can't even see that there was a that there was a little fat between the spinalis and the chuck and the eye. Even consistent sear marks throughout the whole thing. I'm gonna turn this one in. All right, we know we know you can hit it and turn that in. Now you want to turn it in. Spinali's facing the judges. Yeah, away so I hinge. want them away from the hinge, right? I want them to taste a little bit. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and turn it in like that. Okay. All right, I think that looks great. Um, we had some finishing butter on there. It looks good to me. Cool. That's something I'd feel comfortable turning in. Nice job. Okay. Let's do our signature pantry rate. And so in this case, I rated my own pantry. We're going to cook uh, my friends and their wives a wonderful rendition of my version of Pad Thai. Even if I don't have uh, the rice noodle, I just bought some fettuccine noodles that work just as well. We're going to saute some aromatics, get some of the uh, ingredients in there, and then we're going to cook the uh, noodles. Put a little Pad Thai sauce. Pad Thai sauce is characteristic with tamarind, palm sugar, a little bit of fish sauce. A little bit of soy sauce. Super duper easy to make. Just the pad thai sauce. And uh, I got a little bit of garlic, some dried shrimp, some tofu, some fried turnip, and my secret ingredient, don't tell anybody, you learn it from me, a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. Let's add some uh, onions. Good pad thai, some pickled Asian turnip. Enjoy it. No garlic as you like. Okay. 
soy sauce and egg. Pasta, water, this is a Thai style dry shrimp. Tofu pouches, fried tofu. All right, the pad thai is ready. Super duper easy. Just throw everything in the pot with the sauce. Garnish it as a cilantro. My secret ingredient was add a little bit of Parmesan cheese sprinkled on top. That makes a great flavor enhancer. They probably don't do this in Thailand. So try this at home and let me know what you think. Ready to serve our guests this little pantry raid pad thai by Harry. All right, we're ready for the big reveal. Everybody's excited. Everyone has been cooking their hearts out for the past few hours. Chris is going to do the honors as the uh, official. So he's going to show you what he's going to do to each steak. So we're going to um, take a look at the steak. And what they, uh, what I'm thinking the judges do is look at it and see if the grill marks look good. This one looks great. Okay, good grill mark. And um, now we're going to check the doneness. So Chris is going to make the diagonal cut at about 30 degree angle. Right here, in the middle. Degree angle. So they okay. check the eye of the steak. Okay. And check it for done. Okay, everybody come over here and give your uh, beauty score marks, please. Do we have a... That looks good. Sure. That looks great. That looks good. Sure. That looks like yeah, medium. Medium. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a 10. Medium. Uh, I, I give a 10. Is that a good one? Yeah. I give it a 10. 10. Okay. Okay. 10 on the... Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm glad you have this thing. But, uh, All right, pink. so so that's pretty good, pretty spot on. Yeah. Right? I see it's a 10. Warm pink. Warm pink center, a 10. Mm -hmm. Good job, whoever that entry is. We should be anonymous. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. okay, so. Looks pretty good. Looks yeah. really good. Yeah. Good appearance. Yeah, no, no, no complaints on appearance. So we're gonna cut here yep. on the eye. So now the reason you'll see at competitions, you'll see a foil thing under it, is so they can cut and they won't cut through this styrofoam. All right, what do you think? That uh, looks like a medium well. Uh, is it over? Is it a little over or under? I think it's over. Just right? a little. Just a tad over. Yeah, it's a, little a nine. nine. A, a, a nine. A nine. Yeah. Not a yeah. ten. It's a little over, right? A little, because it's got a little eight points. Yeah, one of those two holes there. Huh. That's that really doesn't affect the scores, but that's where they. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's go back to those yeah. holes. What are the two holes there? Let's go back to White Oaks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So that's Freddy's. Okay. To give it a nine Freddy's. on the oh, deadness. A little yeah. bit over, over. Just a just a bit. slap. Just, just a, a tad over. Just a tad yeah. over. Just a tad over. Okay. So cool. you're like a nine, yeah. Nine. Okay. All right. Okay. Next one will be. Okay. Next one. Okay. Uh, we'll use, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Beautiful steak. No complaints here. All right, now we're gonna cut it. So, Spinalis okay, is on towards you. Yep. Cut it this way. Okay. And... All right. What do you guys think? Against the picture. That's like an eight. Hold it right there. Yeah. Best I was at. Wow, it's a knee nailed it. Yeah. Okay, so it's a ten, right? It's a ten. Side by side. I'm not gonna say anything. So, you guys judge. Yeah. I okay. think it's closer to a nine. I do too. Nine? I was gonna say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The over or under? I think a little over. Oh really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't really huh. see colors. Yeah. It okay. Looks a little more. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I said uh, I'm looking through my lens, yeah. wrong one, because you know. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's just a ten. Okay. A nine. This is uh, Josh's though. Josh. Yeah. We, 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 we get it. We get it. He's ten. perfect. We gave this a ten. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. This one had more redness. This has more redness. This has leather. So just a ten. Nine. A nine. A nine. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. All right. Or you yeah. get sure you don't want to change it. To actually, spread. actually, it looked better after it cooled down. Look at that. Yeah. See, it, it, yeah. it gonna, got yeah. better. The color yeah. got better. Isn't that how yeah. weird? Oh, that's a perfect so now, now it's a 10, yeah. right? It's I mean, I have now. to give him a 10, honestly. After it cooled down, it, it turned red. So you gotta. Uh, <laughs> what is the deal with that, man? This is probably what really yeah. happens, right? Oh, so it turned, it turned red after a while. But, I'm not kidding you. It, am I eyes deceiving me? It looked more red. It might be the chef mojito. Yeah. <laughs> no, it turned red. I swear. Hey, we found a discovery here. You let it cut and you let it sit, right? It turns red. Holy moly. Look at that. Mm. Maybe you also turned red too, Chris. Well, I see you crossing your fingers over there. And then, and then what opened? I noticed there's graying, right? There's graying happening also. Yeah, so exactly. so yeah. how, how do you prevent the Yours has no gray, so that's good. No, this no. one has a little bit. This one has a little bit more of gray. Gray, yeah. yeah. So, so the key is to get it pink to the edge. That's why. That's why I, I disagree right, with you guys, right? When I when I cook yeah. it, I, I never sear and smoke. I smoke first and I sear because I want it pink to the edge. When you do this, right? I notice the gray appears. 
Best one so far. <laughs> All right, ladies, what do you think? I actually like it. I like it? Because it tastes like something I would eat like normally instead of like mm, a steak. Okay. Meat. All right. You guys not, like not it? Too salty. Yeah, let me try it now. Okay. This is uh, Brady's entry. Good. Good flavor. So this is the Chris's entry. It was very, very good. Josh's entry was very good also. So three good entry. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, let, um, let's see what Mr. Beans thinks. Some, some, you want to give the, Mr. Beans a piece here? No, Mr. Beans! Beans has been Mr. Eating. Beans, I, I need yeah. you to be a, a test tester here. Beans Case number one. Beans well. here, Beans. Beans. He's been licking. Beans, you, you want to... Okay, this is number three. Okay, you see it's, I have number three? Number three? Okay, let's try number three. Okay, all right, someone pass me number two here. All right, so that was number three, Beans. All right, so I want you to try number two now. Number two. Number two. Okay, number two. Okay, and then drop me a piece of number one. Okay, number one. Okay, number one. And let's see if you wag your tail. Okay, that's number one. Okay. And you got leaf on your face here. Where are you going? You mean right running in the bush? All right, Beans, what do you think? Okay, I can, from his expression, I can't tell. Uh, beans, one, two, or three. Come on, say something, please. Yes. Number one. <laughs> he said, I like them all. You like them all? No, he's saying, I need a second sample. I can't oh, tell yes. from the first one, right? I think you need to give me a, the whole Okay. okay. All right, beans. There you go. So I, I, I'm not. I, I, I can't tell which one you. Oh yeah, that's right. We gotta put a round plate, right? So let yeah. me, let me get a plate here. It's not, not a fair test. Hang on. Okay. 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 So that's one. Wait, this is number two. That's number two, and this is number three. Which is one? That's one. So going clockwise, right? Yeah. So nine o'clock position one, two, is okay. Nine o'clock position is number one. Twelve o'clock is number two, and two o'clock is number three. All right. Mm -hmm. Beans, you ready? Okay. You pass me the plate here. Yeah. Just. All right, beans. You have three steaks here. To eat. So we have one, two, and three. Go. Oh, he went for number two, number one, and number three. Okay, beans. Pick two, one, three. Who's that? That's number Josh. Josh is number one, and now who's number two? Oh no, he went two first. He went two first. Oh, two. So that's Josh. Okay, one. Oh, so he like three. Oh man, so you 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 fell three. Sorry, man. What? Beans rated you three. All right, beans. All all the humans, right? Well, I hope you guys found this video fun, as much fun as we had shooting it. It's a super hot day in my backyard, 100 degrees. So we're going to try to have lunch and then pack up, get into the air conditioning. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to my Patreons for sponsoring my channel. You guys uh, have any questions, leave me your comments in below. And uh, let me know if you want me to do other videos. This is a super fun SDA call with some of my buddies. I want to thank uh, Chris, Josh, and, uh, and, and, and Chef Freddy for coming over and their wives. Thanks a lot. So